All right, welcome back everybody to a new episode of Hidden Gems. This is the video series where I talk about those books that are just hidden away, tucked away in those back issue boxes. Not the hot 10 books, not the books that everybody's hunting for, just kind of some random, obscure, forgotten type books. Things that are probably underpriced or still tucked away in those back issue bins for cheap at your LCS, shows, cons, wherever you do your comic book kit pickups. These are things you might be able to still find out there for a decent price or things that are actually priced a lot higher than you might not have realized because because you haven't been paying attention and have not seen the market actually push some of these. Please like, subscribe, hit the alert button so you don't miss anything. Uh, keep telling your friends so we can keep growing the channel. Hopefully you like the new format where I come up with a little bit of categories for each section. I'm kind of enjoying uh, setting it up that way. So hopefully you're enjoying it that way as well. And if you want to see what books I'm talking about this week, just hang on for a few seconds after the intro and I will be right back. All right, so we're going to start off like we did last week with our artist retrospective section. This is going to be focused on a comic book artist, their covers, their work, and uh, you know, just kind of do a little quick brief overview and kind of hopefully expand your uh, knowledge of some of these uh, popular artists out there today. Uh, the artist that I'm looking at today is going to be uh, one that you probably know pretty well. Everybody loves these baby covers, or maybe you don't, but they are very, very popular, and we are talking about Scotty Young. And yes, he might first now be known for all of these Marvel baby covers that we have out here. Some of these are absolutely fantastic. Some of these are very, very hard to find and expensive. But that's not what I want to talk about as far as his art goes today. Because he does more than just these, you know, pretty cute, you know, cutesy little uh, baby covers. He does a lot more than that. You can see that with his most recent independent releases, those issues. I mean, yes, Twig leans on the side of being a little bit more of that childlike wonder, but you got things like Middle West, uh, The Me You Love in the Dark. These things have a different vibe, a different style. They are not quite the same. I still like his style. It's very unique and it has a kind of like an animated kind of vibe to it. I, I enjoy it. I like it. And, uh, it goes back quite a ways. I believe his first work with Marvel, uh, before he started doing all those baby covers, was back on that uh, manga-inspired Legend of the Spider-Clan series uh, way back in the day. I believe this is what he first started working on over there. But uh, I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure uh, in doing my research. And these have some pretty cool covers. Uh, these are some cool books to go and dig out if you can find them. This here is issue one. Uh, and again, six-issue series. There are a few covers that are pretty cool. Oh, I'm sorry, five issue series uh, with the black hat one there in the middle. That's issue four. I kind of like that. I like the ending number five, even the black suit spidey there on uh, issue three. They're all pretty good and you can usually find them out there for a decent price. As an example, uh, you can see the whole set of one to five can sell for like 35 bucks online recently. Issue five picking up like 545 plus shipping and issue one's only getting you know, 390. Like you can still find these for cheap even online if you go looking. But at the same time, Sometimes you might get a little bit more of a, an aggressive ask, like $25, some $10 asks for some individual issues, $7. It, you know, prices may vary, uh, but you're looking from anywhere from like, you know, five to 10 bucks on most issues. You can usually get the set in that 25 to uh, $40 type of range if you can find them online, but maybe you find them in a shop tucked away. May I'm not saying they're in the dollar box. They might be. But maybe you just find them in like a $2 box or some cheap back issue bin where you can just get the whole run for like 10 bucks or something like that. So that's the kind of thing that I'm talking about here. And that's what kind of thing that I'm recommending as far as looking for old Scotty Young art, which you can also find in the New Warriors run that he did. This was a six issue series. This is what I think I was thinking of before. Uh, and this series, again, you can see it's not the uh, baby baby versions of these characters it's pretty cool it's very unique it's stylized i like it but there are some really cool covers in these six issues uh from issue three there over on the left and then you got the brady bunch kind of vibe thing going there on the final issue issue six which i also kind of like and again, you can see there's a different squad of new warriors i know there was new warrior spec for a while there because we were supposed to be getting like a uh abc family was supposed to be doing a show and then it's you know it, never happened. It never came through. Uh, everybody was hoping to see a live action squirrel girl with the AT&T girl, which I kind of thought it would work, but we never got it. So we never got around to it, but who knows where we might get, what we might get in the future. Right. But as far as this series goes for Scotty Young's art, you can see here again, not too bad. 250 
Best offer accepted for only $2.50 on that first issue. Or you can get the whole set. Somebody bought one for $11.50 for all six issues uh, at auction. So these things can still go for pretty cheap. Uh, but if you look online, you can see, yeah, four bucks. Uh, four bucks, you get two issue number ones for $4. Or you might get a set for like 40 The actual sets that are listed right now are closer to that $40 range. So uh, building out an individual set could be tough, especially if you got to pay all the shipping charges. It still might be cheapest to go with the, you know, buying a set like this online but like i said make sure you go check your shop check your shop first save yourself on shipping save yourself those few dollars so you can buy other comics with that money now another run that i think people forget about uh, as far as scotty young goes because again they're not baby covers at marvel is he had a quick little run there on new x-men where he was doing the quest for magic uh little mini series not mini series arc it was like a four-part story arc that he did the art for it uh, pretty cool covers here on this one as well. It started with issue 38, uh, 39, 40, and uh, I got 41 there in the middle because I think that's my favorite cover with uh, like a demon magic right there or magic as Marco likes to call her. Uh, but I like these. These these are pretty cool. Like I said, 41 is probably my favorite of the bunch. And uh, these are also books that you can find tucked away in the boxes. Nobody's really looking through new X-Men uh, issues. Yes, you have uh, X-23's villain uh, Kimora or whatever her name is. That's one. People recently been looking for that Wakandan mutant in like issue 21 or 23 or whatever the heck it is. That's another one. But outside of that, there's plenty of these new X-Men books out there in those cheap, cheap boxes, those dollar bins even. So you might find these in dollar bins. But that said, you can see individual issues can sell for $10 or somebody got a lot that didn't have the whole run, but it had a few plus others for $1.28. Somebody got $1.28. They got a run of like 10 different new X-Men books. Uh, a couple of the ones I'm talking about here, but not all of them. But that's the kind of thing you can find sometimes when you look online, especially at auction. If you want to go buy what's available right now, you're looking at nine to twelve dollars for the individual ones. Maybe you can get a run that has the whole set there. Look, twenty four dollars basically with a couple of extras outside of the four that I'm talking about that are Scotty Young's. There's a couple extras in that lot as well. But uh, and I'm not telling you buy them online. I'm telling you look in your shops. You could probably find it for cheaper there. And this is one that you might find in those dollar bins. Uh, I think up next or almost at the end of here talking about Scotty Young, I do, and I've talked about these before, I do really like these Cable and Deadpool uh, issues that he did. Uh, he did issue 37 here, which I think was his first one that he did on the run, and then he missed a couple of issues and then picked it back up uh, like there in the 40s and did like basically the, the final like 10 issues thereabouts. Uh, some highlights that I like are issue 41, that Cable, that Wolverine and Deadpool there in the middle is really cool. And then that final issue, issue 50, which I think is also a first Venom pool or something in there. Uh, so that thing sells pretty well on its own as you know, too. But I like all these covers. It's very different than what you normally think of when you think of Scott Young with the cutesy little baby covers. Like this is a different style, a different vibe. And I really like these a lot uh, personally. Uh, what do these sell for? Well, Prices could vary. Again, individual issues like that Doctor Strange one was another cool one, issue 47. That was only four bucks. But then, like, as that final issue was selling for almost 30 at auction. So even at auction, first Venom Pool uh, is bringing in an extra few bucks. So keep an eye out for it if you find it at your shop. That one you might be able to flip. But even the other individual issues, you can see some of them ask like 20 bucks, 16 bucks, or as cheap as 250. It's all over the place. Uh, sometimes these things are in demand. Sometimes they're just forgotten about. It's really dealer's choice when it comes to listings out there. So sometimes you can get lucky and get cheap ones for like 250. Other times you might have to pay the piper and uh, shell out up to 20 bucks to grab one of these individual issues. If you're going to shop online, I should say, hold out, look for a lot, maybe save yourself a few dollars that way. Otherwise go digging in those boxes. Again, outside of that Venom Pool book, there really isn't much as far as like first appearances or things like that. You got to worry about fighting off those other hunters. You're basically would just be looking at it if you like these Scotty Young covers. Uh, and that's why you can probably go and scoop them up for cheap. I found these in dollar bins before, so they can be found there. I'm just saying don't count on it, but maybe you can find them cover price or less uh, if you go digging. And yeah, do what you want with that information. One final one. Since I've been talking a lot about Capcom and Mega Man the last few weeks and Sonic. Uh, no Sonic this week. No Sonic. But I do have one Mega Man book because I mentioned it. Scotty Young did do the B cover on this Dreamwave uh, cover, which I really dig. I do have one of these. I like it. It's it's just different. I mean, it fits his art style. You get that kind of uh, anime manga kind of inspired thing. But it's pretty cool getting the Scotty Young uh, Mega Man cover. You know, how often are you going to get that? 
Uh, and this one, like I said, this is the B cover for this series. Uh, and it sells all right. Cheapest copies could sell as low as like 11 bucks. For, usually they sell more in that uh, 20 to $35 kind of range, uh, depending on grade and uh, depending on timing, really, uh, depending on when you buy it. I mean, back in April, five bids got it up to 20 bucks, but to buy it now just on May 10th was $35. So it's not that this book is picking up in price. It's just really timing on what's available and what you are willing to spend, really, if you're buying online. Again, I'm telling you, go dig in the boxes at your shops or near you, and maybe you can find it there. But hey, sometimes you do got to buy online. But if you do, expect to be paying more asking prices like $25 to $45 raw or a $400.98, which is pretty steep. But that's the you know the price. If you want to go and shoot for one, that's what's out there. Otherwise, hopefully you can find one at your shop. And if you want to go ahead and list it yourself, you know, have at it. This is the market right now. This is what you'd be jumping into. So uh, hopefully you found that uh, helpful. All right, that's it for Scotty Young. Sorry, first 10 minutes of the show, just talking Scotty Young. We're going to jump over to a few other things that I like to do, and uh, the next one being variants. So let's look at a couple of variants. Now, I'm not going to be talking about those hard-to-find, impossible-to-find high ratios or store exclusives, things like that. I'm going to be more focused in on variants as far as hidden gems goes, uh, basically anything that has a very low ratio or something that's super high printed like that. Oh, yes, it's a 1 in 20, but they printed 2 million copies. But that's not the case here. What I'm talking about here today are going to be some one in tens. And these are one in ten incentive covers for Justice Society of America uh, back in the old DC days. And uh, there's a couple of cool ones that feature Black Adam that you should probably pay attention to now before they get more and more expensive as the movie nears. So this is one of them for issue 16. Again, it's a one in ten. So it's not a super high ratio. Uh, and it's a book that was actually pretty pretty, pretty decently because the Jeff Johns run was pretty popular. Not the top selling, but... It wasn't like a completely ignored book and there's only like 10 of these out there in the world. No, there's a decent amount of these uh, books out there uh, for you to buy. It's just uh, keep an eye out for them because these are going to get harder and harder as we get closer, like I said, to the release of that movie. Even right now, you can see copies of this one sell for 10 to 15 bucks. So you're talking ratio a little bit more, 10 to 15 bucks on this thing, which I think is a decent price even if you're buying online. But those were back in February and April, like those sales. Uh, copies out there right now, they're closer to asking more $20 to $30 right now. I'm telling you, the excitement is starting to grow for The Rock being Black Adam. And these things are probably going to get a little more pricey as we get closer and closer to that. So maybe you can go find one at your shop before everybody else starts looking for it when it be, this becomes like another hot book on a hot 10 list somewhere. So uh, just try to stay ahead of that curve and go look for these now uh, if you haven't been looking for these already. I mean, I've been looking for these already, but you know, if you want to join me on that hunt, I'm telling you to do it now. Before it gets too late, I guess. Uh, another one that features Black Adam. It's also a 1 in 10. It's granted, there's other regular covers. It's that awesome Alex Ross cover in this as well, but it's like the regular cover. These are the 1 in 10, so these are going to get you, uh, fetch you a little bit, uh, a few extra bucks, and maybe be a little bit harder to find since they are 1 in 10s. Like this next one, which is not the greatest cover, but it is Black Adam and it is Isis. Issue 24 of uh, Justice Society of America is another 1 in 10 that, you know, you never know. This is going to get tougher uh, as we get closer, like I said. Prices right now, $1.50. Somebody accepted a best offer of only $1.50 on this. I get it. The cover art's not great, but $1.50. Or look, two bids for $1.30. A buck. People are paying a buck for this one in 10 right now. And I'd say if you can get this for a buck or two bucks, do it. Because you watch. This thing will be wanted more by other people. And you'll be able to do double ratio pretty easily uh, before you know it. And right now, yes, there's ratio, 10 buck copies, uh, $25 copies are out there as well. Uh, so there's still a wide range, but keep an eye out for those auctions. And again, maybe the offer, somebody can, I mean, somebody might accept a little low ball offer like that because somebody apparently did uh, back on April 8th. So you can get lucky. Doesn't hurt to ask, right? Just don't get mad if the, if the seller doesn't accept your low ball offer because that's the most ridiculous thing in the world. You offer somebody 10, 15% of what they're asking. And then if they decline, you're like, what do you mean? Just, just know if you're low balling somebody expect maybe no response or a harsh response is a possibility. So just keep that in mind as well. All right. I got one more one in 10 for the justice society. That is not a black Adam cover, but it is a, another one you should look for. This is a Darwin cook. And uh, with Memorial day coming up, this is a pretty good one too. This make no war, no more cover. I kind of dig it. Issue 50. Uh, this is a nice cover. It's classic little uh, look, classic style of Darwin Cook. Uh, and keep an eye out for it. $5 cover on, on this when it came out. So 
Um, keep that in mind as well. And this is a one in 10. Recent sold, $13 they accepted on May 2nd. They accepted only 13 bucks. So they accepted just a couple of bucks over ratio. Asking prices right now are 20 to 38. So it's a little bit steeper. Could be a little bit tougher. But like I said, this has a $5 cover price to begin with. And uh, yeah, could be a little bit tougher to find as we get later on in that run. This is issue 50 uh, after all. All right, moving on to our next category. We're going to jump over to later prints. Now, these later printings uh, could go from anywhere from second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. I just have a couple of second prints. I'm just covering a little run of uh, Hulk books just to kind of remind you of these because one of them is a lot pricier than I thought that it was. And that's the first one. Now, this first second print is uh, from the Fall of the Hulk's storyline, Incredible Hulk 606. I think this features the first, like, Immortal She-Hulk or something. I think that's how people are listing it. I don't know why they're listing it that way. It, it is what it is. How, people can list books however they want. I mean, I don't know. But this 606, this second print, is probably the uh, gem of this little bunch. Uh, that's 606, 607, and 608. Uh, during this Fall of the Hulk's run, these second prints were all out there. Uh, like I said, the other ones are pretty cheap. You can find them anywhere from like five to like 10 bucks, uh, when you look online, but that 606 is a bit pricey with, uh, May 20th, which was just a couple of days ago, uh, best offer on 150, they accepted 120. And then, uh, a little bit earlier in May, a week before $70 ask, they accepted only 35. So that's a huge jump, 35 to 120 bucks for this same book, both raw and both within the last 10 days or so. Uh, asking prices on this one again, they are not cheap. $75 seems to be the low, 100 bucks, 190 uh, are the asking prices for this particular one. This issue 606. Uh, and I'm not saying, like I said, buy these at these prices. Obviously, I'm not recommending that. But if you can find this in your shop, you can find this for cheap. Keep that in mind that the market on this is much more than if you find it for like 10 bucks, five bucks cover. Who knows? Just this is the kind of thing I'm trying to help you uh, realize that these books are out there. So you might be able to go dig and make yourself a few dollars. And I'm trying to give newer collectors, older collectors, everybody a little bit of something for them to go and look for when they're digging at their shops. And hopefully I give somebody something useful and something new each time out. Uh, and hopefully you appreciate it. Let me know in the comments if you do. Uh, that said, those are my later printings. I can focus in on the 606. The other two are kind of extras. Maybe they get pulled up in the wake of 606 at some point. But right now, like I said, they're mostly in that like kind of five to ten dollar range. They're pretty cheap still, as a lot of these uh, Hulk later printings in this kind of era kind of are. There's a few, even like the like, start of the Herc run, they're all pretty cheap for the most part. Some second and third prints, but you never know where they might go in the future. Up next, a couple of nostalgia picks. Now I know what you're thinking. The nostalgia picks are probably going to be some ob obscure cartoon or some action hero toy line or something like that. And yeah, maybe a little bit, but no, not exactly. This week, my nostalgia pick is going to go to my man Conan because Marvel decided to just let Conan go. And uh, I think it's a shame. Uh, granted, I haven't been reading the new Conan books, but there is a rich history of Conan with Marvel. And there are some good books that you can still go and dig out of the cheap boxes if you go looking like and I've talked about these before. The McFarlane cover on 241. Todd McFarlane doing Conan is a fun little thing. Uh, so yeah, him doing the cover on 241. You can find this thing out there. They've made plenty of them, I think. And uh, don't go paying uh, like a premium for newsstands. Uh, it, it's not worth it. But you can see 15 bucks, 25 bucks are really what people are paying for this thing. So if you do find one, that might be what you'll be able to get. Because the asking prices are asking about, yeah, like I said, 20 to 30 bucks, basically. And like I said, it newsstand direct doesn't matter. At this stage of the game, uh, don't go paying a premium for a newsstand in 1991 because it's not really that harder to find. Just keep that in mind. Uh, the next issue is another one that you should also be looking for because it's a Jim Lee cover doing Conan. And you get Red Sonia as well. I like this one too. Uh, and this one does okay as well. I mean, not quite as uh, pricey as you can see. Uh, for the most part, you can get one for as cheap as 10 bucks, but sometimes it could be just as pricey with one going for 40 bucks. And those are recent. It's May 15th and May 22nd, which is today. I'm uh, filming this May 22nd right before I do the Star Wars show. So just keep that in uh, perspective of how recent some of this data is that I'm giving you. Uh, the available copies right now, seven bucks to about 25 bucks, really, are asking prices. And again, 
Don't let the news stand fully on this one. Get whichever one you can find in a decent shape and uh, grab yourself a nice Conan uh, Jim Lee cover. Now, I've also talked about how late run and uh, final issues are also worth looking for. So that's what we're going to talk about. And the first one is going to be a late run issue uh, that sells okay. That has one of the worst covers I think I've seen in a while. And this is issue 273. Uh, the series wraps up at 275. But this issue 273, Conan the Punisher, it does all right because it's late in the run. Print runs down. Maybe it's the Punisher reference. I don't know. But this cover ain't good. I don't like this personally. I'm not trying to be overly critical. I'm just saying this thing is a miss for me. Uh, that said, copies selling for this. Uh, in, a, in a lot with that final three issues, you can see about almost like 60 bucks. And this issue only, like I said, $17 for this. This. I mean, I don't know why else. It, it's just because it's late in the run. Because it can't be for the cover art. Now, asking prices are also $15 to $55 on this thing. So $15, you got $26 bucks down below. And $55 in fine condition, mind you, for that $55 one. Uh, for this Conan the Punisher. Oof. Again, it's not the most pretty cover in the world, but this is the kind of thing. You can find this thing for cheap in a cheap box, dollar box. Maybe you can scoop one up and maybe you can go throw it out in the market and play with these guys and uh, make yourself a few bucks. But as I said, that's 273. Uh, and keep an eye out for that final issue, which I mentioned is 275. I mean, it clearly tells you it's the end, so it's not hard to figure it out. Uh, all black cover is going to be tough to get an eye grade, but look for it anyway. You know, it doesn't hurt to look. Issue 275. Now, this thing could sell for a decent amount, as I showed you that lot of the final three issues for 55 plus uh, $65, $50. Um, May sales there also, like that $65 sale was again today, May 22nd. So very recent activity on this book. People are still thinking and buying Conan. So uh, just be mindful of that when you go out there digging. And we want to look at prices out there right now. Anywhere from like 25 to 40 are the asking prices on this one at the moment. I'm uh, going to shoot on for a final pick, and it's going to be video games. Uh, I also like to throw a video game pick in here because I love video games, and uh, I finally got back to playing again. I'm quite behind on the gaming. Uh, I'm playing games that were released like four years ago, but uh, I'm trying to play video games again. That said, the game that I'm playing is Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which, yes, that's a couple of uh, rungs behind because I think Valhalla was the last one, and that was probably like a year or two ago, and I'm playing the one before that. But Assassin's Creed is, I think, getting a series coming. I know the movie didn't hit, but there is something else coming. Not to say that that's going to push everything to be, you know, be worth something. But this promo book, uh, don't don't let this one slip by you, because this one is already very expensive. If you can stumble across this out there in the wild, this was, I believe, a promo book that was released with the first game way back in 2007. Uh, so just keep an eye out for it. Pretty cool cover with just the logo. This thing, as you can see here. Sells $125, $150 for sales, both of which were back in April. Not cheap for this thing. So if you can find this at a shop, maybe you find it for 20 bucks. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, even at $50, that could be a, a be a bargain um, if you'd consider those prices. Because also the asking prices, $200, $250, or $1,000 in a 9.8 if you can find one. So again, happy hunting. Uh, hopefully you can find something like this. I do not have this book. I've been looking for it. I have not stumbled across it, but I will keep my eye out for it in case I do. And I'm just telling you to keep an eye out for it as well. Just don't only dig in the dollar boxes. Sometimes slip through those uh, price books. You never know what could be in there. There could be stuff that's not priced to the current market. There could be stuff priced to overstreet prices. There could be all different, all different kind of ways you can find things mispriced that you can do and find yourself a nice little bargain. Okay, find you something you something you can make money on if you decide you want to sell it or resell it, or something you just add to your collection for a cheap price, and you don't have to pay these exorbitant, you know, market prices. That's at least what I'm hoping to try to give you by doing this series is uh, give you some of these options when you're out there digging beyond the dollar bin. That there are some other things you might be able to find too, whether it be on the wall, most likely not, but in those priced back issue bins, the recent like oh stores recent pickups a lot of times things get ignored because they're not the hot books. So that's what I'm trying to tell you about. Thanks again for stopping by and checking this out. Hopefully you're still enjoying this series as well as everything else here on the channel. I keep telling you, let me know in the comments because I do appreciate the feedback. I do enjoy engaging with you guys and uh, carrying on some conversations outside of this me one way <laughs> delivery here when I just do these recorded videos. I mean, apart from me showing up in the live chat, the chat with you guys when I premiere them, 
I do like having those conversations on the outside too. So don't be afraid. Send me a message on Instagram and uh, I'll respond. If you got questions, there's other things you want to see, things you want to recommend to me. I take recommendations. I put them on my to-do list and I try to get to them when I can. So uh, let's you know keep the community together. Let's uh, go through this stuff together. I love talking comics. So uh, hopefully you do too. And with that all said, I will see you guys soon with some more content, including the Star Wars show, which I'm about to film in a few minutes. All right, later.